So here's the material I'm going to refine. I've got 0.51 grams or 510 milligrams. And it came from a bag that was uh, one gram of uh, gold nuggets. And I'm going to keep these um, aside maybe for future experiments or whatever. I want to purify this first because the whole idea is to make a um, standard test solution of pure gold. So to purify this, I don't really know um, what's in it. And I don't suppose the guy that sold it to me knew what was in it either. But you can see from the color that it's uh, fairly pure gold. I'm guessing it's at least 85%, but that's something we're going to find out along the way. And to make um, a 25%, if I started with pure gold, to make 25% uh, alloy with silver, I would actually have to add uh, 1.5 um, grams. So... I'll add that. And so together, that's what I want to uh, melt. So the first step is to prepare a melt dish. This is right out of the box. It's a refractory, probably pure silica melt dish. And so I need to coat this with borax. Let's weigh the bead. I've actually already done it. What's the weight? But I'm showing you what we got. All right. Let's see if we can flatten this guy. I want to maximize the surface area. The 150 milliliters of distilled water. To that, I'm going to add. Um, 50 milliliters of uh, nitric acid. That'll be a three to one dilution ratio. And then I'll put the um, alloyed bead into there. And um, that will remove all of the silver and base metals from that alloy. So let's give that a try. So always add acid to water. Um, and I'm going to use a respirator. I don't have a fume hood, but I've got the garage door fully open and there's quite a nice breeze coming through here. So I feel uh, completely protected. This stuff is dangerous, so be careful. So there's the gold. I'll tear out this piece of uh, single piece. Yes, I'll tear out this piece of uh, filter paper and we'll weigh the gold. So I started with 0.508 and I'm left with 0.358. <laughs> so, um, I guess I removed all the silver and I removed a lot of the impurities from the nuggets of gold. So that's good. 
So I got, I got good, uh, clean starting material. All right, now I'm gonna dissolve my purified gold in um, aqua regia. So we'll start with um, hydrochloric. We'll start with a little bit of distilled water, actually. So I've got slightly less than 20 milliliters of distilled water. And the rest of this I'm gonna do with my respirator on. This respirator is made for, um, the cartridges are made for acidic uh, vapors. The cartridge is uh, 60923. Hydrochloric up to about 40 milliliters. Now I'm going to drop in nitric drop by drop. Ten drops. That's a half a milliliter. Now I'm going to put it on the hot plate. So that solution is still cold, and you can see that the Gold is already dissolving. So there's a little bit of gold at the very bottom of the beaker. I'm going to add uh, three more drops of nitric. So that's a total of uh, 13 drops, and there's about 20 drops per milliliter. So that's 0.65 milliliters total of nitric. And we'll see if that invigorates the solution. Okay, see those little guys dancing around there? There's just two or maybe uh, three big pieces left in there. All right, I finally got all of it to dissolve. And now I'm going to, if you recall, I have uh, 356 milligrams of gold dissolved in here. So I want to bring the fluid level up to uh, 35.6 milliliters and I'll have um, 10 milligrams per millimeter as my standard gold solution. And I just uh, rinse my beaker out with uh, distilled water and pour it into here. So I'm looking for 36 milliliters. Okay, so here's the um, chlorooric acid solution at a standard concentration of 10 milligrams per milliliter. And um, I'm going to put it uh, in this vial. But before I do that, I want to make two other solutions with um, one-tenth and one-hundredth the concentration. So I want um, nine parts of water to one part of this to make this standard solution. So let's do that first. I'm going to pipette one Let's see, where's the bloody thing? That's one milliliter into here. So I've got a graduated cylinder. I'm going to pipette ten, nine milliliters. That goes into here. Well, 
That's pretty bad. And then there, that's my standard solution of one milligram per milliliter of gold. Now I'll pipette one milliliter of this stuff into here. Okay. And now I add nine milliliters of water to that. And then that goes into here. So there's my three standard solutions. All I need to do is to get this carefully into this. And I've got a little bit left over, which is good. So let's do a stannous chloride test now. I'm going to put, let's say, one drop. All right, this is a very freshly made solution of stannous chloride. It's got one gram of stannous chloride. 25 milliliters of water, distilled water, and 1.5 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And I'm going to put some drops of that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here's what we've got. I used one drop of... Um, the most concentrated solution, one drop of the 10 to 1 solution, and one drop of the 100 to 1 dilution solution. And so that's exactly what I was trying to achieve. Now I've got standard solutions of, um, in factors of 10 in concentration, and I can use that um, to compare to um, chemically extracted uh, gold ore um, in this spotting plate. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking about. Suppose I took my standard solution of one milligram per milliliter. So that's what, a part in a thousand? Let's say one drop. And now let's say I put five drops on five drops. I, I would like to measure the um, density of that fluid that I've just created. So I could shine a light up through the bottom of that um, piece of glass, take a photograph of it on my camera, and then in Photoshop or some other tool I could uh, measure the density so that's a possibility. Or I could make a little apparatus where I just um, slid this into a box with a light source underneath and um, perhaps a uh, photo detector above and, you know, red filter or something that makes sense for this and do it that way. All right, I'm gonna try an experiment. I've got uh, three cool white LEDs underneath a piece of filter paper. And on top of that, I've got a, the watch glass. So I'm going to add two drops of my weakest gold solution. I'm kind of zoomed way in on this so that we can see if I can um, detect a color change or a optical density change. And then I'll add um, a drop of the stannous chloride solution. And maybe one more, just to make sure. So it's obvious there's a dramatic change in color even with two drops of the weakest solution. So I certainly could measure that if I could get rid of all of the uh, other particulate matter um, from the gold concentrate solution, and I might have to use a deflocculant, or what is it called? 
Might have to use a flocculant to do that. So that's promising. I really appreciate you um, watching this video to the um, end. And um, give me a like. It uh, They say it really helps. Thanks.